Hello, everyone, and thank you for attending the Eagle Foods virtual job fair event. I would like to introduce you to Matt Edwards. Matt will tell you about his company, job openings, and how to apply for those openings. Matt? Thank you, Daniel. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Matt Edwards. Like Daniel mentioned, I am the HR generalist here at the Waukegan plant. Um, I'm excited to share some more information about our company, some openings that we have here at our facility, and any questions that you may have. All right. So our vision statement is as follows. It's builders of better, bolder people and brands. So we want to increase our brand awareness as well as increase our employee skill sets as well. Because if we're uh, working together side by side, we're able to produce the best quality product for our consumers. Our mission statement is as follows, bringing enjoyment to people's lives with wholesome products while inspiring an entrepreneurial culture focused on teamwork. Um, right there below our mission statement are some products that we make here at the facility. Uh, we make the Creators brand, the Popcorn Indiana, and then the Skinny Sticks. Uh, the Eagle Condensed Milk, that is actually made at our El Paso, Texas facility. So we do not focus on that at this Waukegan facility. Uh, next, our core values, uh, we focus on people, quality, consumer focus, authenticity, and growth. For our people, we respect and trust our people. We want to encourage their development, recognize and reward their performance while providing a safe work environment. Uh, for quality, we take exceptional measures to provide the high quality, best tasting products for our consumers. Consumer focus, we continuously seek solutions to provide the best experience to our consumers. Authenticity, we promote an open culture of real people who act with integrity. And then lastly, for growth, we pursue company and individual growth as well. If you would like to learn more about our company, uh, you can visit our website at eaglefoods.com. It's just some more information about us. You can also find where to apply under the career section as well. Um, there will be a link in the PowerPoint later on that will have the link to our applicant tracking system as well. Um, but we are relatively a new company. We've been around since January of 2016. However, our um, brands have been category leaders for over 150 years. Uh, many people know of our Creators brand. Uh, that is probably one of our more famous ones and um, more popular brands that we have here. Uh, and a lot of people enjoy eating the popcorn. Um, next, just some more information on our snacks category uh, here at the Waukegan plant. There are some more brands that we offer and that we produce here at the facility. Again, with the craters, uh, we make just the cheese, the mix, the caramel, uh, popcorn Indiana. There are several different flavors that we produce here at the facility as well. And then lastly, for our private labels, we do make some private labels for Aldi, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Kroger, Amazon, and Target. There are a few more brands that I didn't mention here today, um, but you, we can always speak more about it if you are interested in a position with us. Next, um, these are some open positions that we do have available at our facility. They are across all three shifts. Um, one being automated kitchen operator, electrical automation technician, a maintenance technician, a packaging machine operator, a process operator, and then general labor. Again, if you follow that link below, the careers-eaglefoods.isems.com, that will take you to our applicant tracking system where you can learn more information about the company and the positions that are listed above. Um, and then apply for those positions as well, if you are interested. Um, like I mentioned, we do have availability on all three shifts. So our first shift starts at 5.45 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. 
Our second shift starts at 1.45 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. And then lastly, our third shift starts at 9.45 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. There is a shift premium for second and third shift of $1 per hour added to your pay. Um, next are some benefits that we pay 100% of, as well as the company shares with the employee. So the first ones are the ones that the company pays for some, as well as the employees share the costs. So we offer health insurance, two plans, one being a PPO, and then the next is the HSA. For the HSA, we do make a contribution to your account. So if you are an individual, we will deposit $500 into your HSA. And if you have a family, we will deposit $1,000. We also offer prescription drug insurance as well as dental insurance and vision insurance. If you would like more information about this as well, again, please feel free to apply for a position and then we can talk about a position and the benefits. Uh, next is the benefits that we pay for 100% of the cost that the company pays. Uh, so we actually have a very generous 401k plan where we match 100% up to 5%. So if you put in 5%, we'll match with five and you are actually automatically enrolled in that program after 45 days of employment and you are immediately vesting into that 401k plan um, right away. Uh, a couple other benefits that we pay 100% of, uh, term life insurance, accidental death and dismember insurance, short-term disability, long-term disability. And then we do have an employee assistance program who is currently right now through Cigna. So if you do need anything else, Cigna is there for any financial or any other benefits that we do not offer. And then lastly, uh, some more benefits that we pay the company, uh, pays 100% of. Vacation leave, it is accrued throughout the year and you will start accruing on your first day of employment. However, you must be here, must be employed for 90 days to be able to use your vacation leave. Uh, same thing with personal days. It is prorated throughout the year and then you must be here employed for 90 days uh, before you are able to use PTO. We do have 11 holidays in which we are paid for with two of which are floating holidays. So you can use those whenever you would like throughout the year. And then lastly, bereavement leave. But again, you must be employed for 90 days before being eligible for bereavement leave. Um, that was all the information I wanted to share with everyone today. Uh, again, if you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to me now, or if you would like, you can visit our websites and apply for a position and I can reach out to you in the near future. But it's, that's okay. Um, if anyone has any questions, please let us know now. Thank you for your presentation, Matt. I have actually, uh, for those who are in the meeting with us, I have included both a link uh, to Eagle Foods Illinois WorkNet booth and also uh, direct contact info for Matt. Uh, so if you guys wanna follow up with any questions that you have, you can do so through that um, information that's provided. Uh, the employer booth will actually provide a company website link um, a link to current job openings with Eagle Foods, and it'll also provide uh, Matt's contact information, as well as an employer description for you guys to be able to review and uh, just determine whether or not, you know, working for Eagle Foods is something that uh, you'd be interested in pursuing further. Um, so at this time, if you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and enter those into the chat section, and I will uh, be sure to ask Matt on your behalf. And Matt, doesn't look like thus far we have any questions, so I'll go ahead and just ask you some kind of generalized questions that uh, you can answer just to give the folks who are on today's webinar a little bit more uh, information and background on. Okay, sounds good. Um, 
first question, can you elaborate on how long your hiring process typically takes, um, you know, as far as from submitting an application to being hired? Yeah, so submitting an application to being hired, it will probably take about two to three weeks. It kind of depends on the background check um, coming back and being cleared. That is probably the longest of the process. Um, but from the start of application, uh, then I will reach out, set up a phone screen. If the phone screen goes well, we set up an on-site interview with one of the hiring managers where there will be a tour of the facility as well. And then next we would make the offer, uh, to start the background check. And then once that's cleared, we can have a start date. Uh, right now we only do orientations on Monday. So, um, depending on when your background check does clear, we might have to wait until the following Monday. Thank you, Matt. And uh, can applicants expect to be uh, paid for the time that they're being trained? Yes, we do offer paid training as well as paid uh, orientations as well. Excellent. Thank you. And can you describe, uh, you know, like what the expected work attire would be? Yeah, the work attire is pretty, um, pretty normal for a manufacturing environment. Uh, we do require non-slip shoes. Um, you are welcome to wear jeans. Uh, it does have to be longer pants, um, shirts that do not have anything that could possibly fall off into the product. Uh, but each employee is required to wear a smock over their clothing as well. Um, and then we do require for the employees to wear gloves while out on the floor. And during this time, during COVID, we are required to wear masks out on the floor as well. Excellent, thank you. And just kind of as an aside to that last question, do you have any restrictions on like tattoos, hair color, or piercings? Uh, we do not have any restrictions on hair color or tattoos. For piercings, they will have to be taken off before the start of your shift, just because we are working with um, food products, we can't have anything that could possibly or potentially fall into the um, mixers. So no jewelry is actually allowed out on the um, production floor. Excellent, thank you. And I actually do have a question um, from a participant. Uh, this individual asks, I have a customer service background. Are there any of those positions where a person could work from home addressing complaints and such? Uh, as of right now, I do not believe we have any cons uh, customer focused positions. Those are mostly going to be out of our corporate office. Um, so we can always uh, see and I can follow up as well with that individual if they are interested in that position. Excellent. So obviously directing this towards that individual, uh, feel free to reach out to Matt and uh, he will direct you to the right HR individual uh, to get you hopefully applied to one of those positions that you're seeking. Um, so kind of as a piggyback question off of that, then I'm assuming none of these positions that you're directly hiring for um, are remote, correct? No, all of the positions that we are currently hiring for at the Waukegan facility are going to be in person on the production floor. Excellent, thank you. And I know another question that a lot of individuals have right now is, you know, how is Eagle Foods handling COVID safety precautions? Are you providing PPE? Are you maintaining social distancing, uh, et cetera? Yeah, so we are providing, uh, we provide PPE in terms of safety glasses, hair nets, um, beard nets as well. Uh, masks should be provided by the employee. And then lastly, for COVID temperatures, we are taking temperature monitoring check every day before the employee comes in. So they must um, bypass our security department for that temperature check. Excellent, thank you. And uh, how often are new jobs typically posted with your organization? Um, new jobs are typically posted, oh wow, uh, I would say probably every week. Um, Every other week, new jobs are posted, positions are open um, about every other week. Excellent, thank you. And I know another question that a lot of people have um, is, are there any sort of educational requirements uh, to apply for these positions, you know, like a high school diploma or a GED? 
For the positions that we are currently recruiting for at the facility, uh, they do not require um, a GED. We do prefer a GED, but it's not necessarily required. Excellent, thank you. And can you kind of just provide a little bit of insight for the folks that are on this call? You know, how can a candidate stand out and get an interview assuming that they're qualified for the position? Yeah, if, uh, if someone is definitely interested in the position, uh, definitely having longevity in their prior uh, companies will stand out. And then any relative um, production experience will also stand as, out as well. So if you've worked in a manufacturing environment, even though it may not necessarily be the machinery that we use on our floors, um, that will definitely stand out to us as well, though. Excellent. Thank you. And I know you, you know, during your description of, you know, the positions that you're hiring for, you kind of you know, alluded to the idea that these positions obviously are going to be, you know, uh, primarily worked in a warehouse type of environment, but just to give a little bit more, uh, you know, to glean a little bit more insight on what folks can expect working for your organization, uh, what can they expect a typical day to look like? Yeah, a typical day, um, you're, whether a typical day for an employee, they're gonna come in, they're gonna get their temperature check um, during these COVID times, and then they'll go ahead and punch in and go out to the floor and follow up with the previous shift. So if you're on first shift, you're following up with third shift. Um, if you're on second, you're following up with first, and lastly, third, you're following up with second, uh, just to see how the machines are run. Uh, if there's anything that they should be looking out for. Then from there, they are just going to start producing the popcorn uh, and doing certain checks throughout the day. We do have to taste the product for certain positions just to make sure we are producing the best quality product. Um, and then just making sure we're filling out reports da uh, daily as well as hourly. Excellent, thank you. Um, Perhaps given your, you know, your personal experience, can you kind of explain uh, what the opportunities for advancement would be for working uh, for your organization and kind of uh, in relation to that, you know, maybe any personal sort of success stories of uh, people that you've hired or coworkers, uh, so on and so forth. Yeah, so there's definitely opportunities to grow within our company. Um, whether you start off as general labor and growing into a process operator, then growing into a production lead, a production supervisor from there. Um, there's definitely opportunities for advancement. We are a growing company. Um, so we are looking for people who would like to grow within our company as well. Uh, there have been people who started off as uh, either auto kitchen operators or process operators who grew into the production lead ro role and then grew into a production supervisor role. So there's definitely opportunities in to do so. Uh, it's just dependent upon someone's determination to grow into those positions. Excellent, thank you, Matt. And then a, kind of another question, I know you briefly described, you know, um, generally speaking when your shifts begin, but um, another question that I get frequently during these events is, you know, what particular shifts are you guys primarily interested in hiring for, or, you know, is there a particular emphasis on, you know, day or night shift that you're looking for? Right now, our biggest opportunity um, for employment is going to be our third shift. So the 9.45 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. However, we do have availability on all three shifts. Um, it's just limited on first and second. Excellent. Thank you. And again, at this point, I would like to uh, remind everyone, if you have any direct questions that you would like Matt to answer, uh, please feel free to enter those into the chat section and we will get those answered for you. It doesn't look like, at least at this time, Matt, that we have any um, additional questions from participants that are in this webinar with us. Um, so at this point, uh, I'd like to give you an opportunity to kind of just give a few summary statements if you would like, or any sort of information that you think you might have, you know, overlooked during your presentation. Yeah, so just a few summary points. Yeah, we're definitely 
uh, interested in learning about your background. Um, so please reach out to me. Uh, I will just say my email now. My email is actually matthew.edwards at efgrp.com. Um, and then I'll go back a couple screens as well. Um, if you are interested in any of our positions as well that are listed here, please visit our careers website, thecareers-eaglefoods.isims.com to learn more about the positions. And if you are interested, please apply. And I'll look forward to everyone's application. Excellent. Thank you, Matt, for your presentation. Again, I just want to reiterate to everyone that's on this uh, webinar, I have included Matt's um, email in the chat section for you. So if you haven't had a chance to copy and paste that, um, into your email or save it elsewhere, you can go ahead and do so now. Um, and then just for your information, I've also included the link to Eagle Foods um, WorkNet um, employer booth. And again, at that location, you can also find a lot of um, information there that will be good for follow-up. Um, at that location, you'll be able to find, like I said before, a link to Eagle Foods website, uh, a link to their job openings, uh, Matt's contact information. And in addition, this session is actually being, uh, being recorded today. So um, at a later time this afternoon, I will have that uh, link posted there as well. So you can also reference um, anything that we discussed in this video there uh, later this afternoon. With that, I would just like to thank everyone again for attending this virtual job fair. Um, and I would like to wish you all a good afternoon. Thank you so much, Matt, for your presentation. You're welcome. And thank you for everyone who joined. And thank you, Daniel, for hosting us. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.